Here we are at our 2004 Sea Ray 240 Sun Deck for sale here on Norris Lake. I do need to point out that the tandem axle trailer that this is sitting on is not available for purchase. Uh, this is a, uh, a maintenance trailer used by, actually used by the company that has serviced this boat since it was new. This is a one owner boat. It's been on Norris Lake since it was new and all maintenance has been performed here locally. It does have some dock rash around the exterior. I'll, I'll do a little bit more close-ups on that before, uh, after I uh, show you the inside. I'll show you the outdrive here. We've got a Bravo 3 dual prop outdrive. Merc Cruiser Power stepping up a uh, folded swim boarding ladder. And standing on an extended swim platform. We've got a ski tow eye here. We've also got a um, water faucet here on the rear deck and on the bow. We've also, we've also got a second boarding lap on the bow. This is a nice large bow rider for running in uh, bigger water, rougher lakes. We've got uh, dual bolstered seats. We've, that means your captain seat has a raised bolster as well as your passenger seat. Those will fold up so you can see over your bow. This one's rated for 12. We've got a tilt steering wheel. Those are uh, trim tab controls that'll help you level the boat out when you've got a lot of people on board. We've got a uh, Pioneer stereo remote. Uh, the stereo that you, or stereo remote you see there is not working because stereo has been upgraded. We've also got SmartCraft engine instrumentation, which means um, You've got a digital readout here showing the depth and your oil pressure and water uh, temperature and things like that. It also has a um, fuel flow meter that will show you your basic live uh, fuel usage in gallons per hour. So you can find a really nice cruise speed that's going to maximize your fuel efficiency. Uh, this one does have about 1,071 hours on it right now. Got a Ritchie compass here at the dash as well. Um, I think I pointed out this 12 volt power outlet down there. And speaking of stereo, I should show you in this hatch here. You've got that upgraded Pioneer satellite ready. Uh, that's a USB auxiliary CD AM FM stereo. Four speakers throughout. Um, slide out to their storage here. Love the storage space on these sun ducks. They are massive. And then right across from your helm station, you've got a head compartment. This one is uh, is basically built in with a uh, porta potty that does have a pump out, so you can get that pumped out. You don't have to actually empty that uh, porta potty uh, manually. You can pull into a dock and have it pumped out. Snap-in carpeting here in the cockpit. We've got two massive, well, one massive in-floor ski locker. Get a little bit of rainwater in there right now because we're sitting kind of downhill towards the nose. And then we've got a second ski locker um, that's gonna be underneath this removable lounge table. That one's about the standard size that you can find on most boats. This one here is probably about four times what you find on most boats. So anyway, you may have noticed that's, that uh, uh, access panel also serves as a wind block. All right, and then we've also got a filler cushion for the bow here. I'll have a photo of that on the website. Now, one of the support panels for that filler cushion needs to be replaced. Uh, so, you know, it can be used as a sun lounge. Uh, you don't want to put a whole lot of weight on those. Uh, probably somebody stepped on that. Those are really just meant to be laid on, and if somebody steps on them, uh, they will break. You got a built-in uh, cooler here. This is your second uh, water faucet pullout. Well, that one doesn't want to pull out for me right here. Um, I do have a little uh, damage to your fiberglass there. This is your second set of swim boarding ladders. That's great if you pull up to a dock. You've also got anchor storage right under there. All right, we're gonna move on back to the stern of the boat. I'll raise the engine hatch for you. 
Jeez, I may need to remove this table to raise that engine hatch. Yeah, I believe I do. Bear with me one moment. Pull that table out of the way. That should be enough for me to raise the engine hatch now. This is a look at your Merc Cruiser 5.0 liter multi-port fuel injected inboard outboard engine. Again, this does have the dual prop Bravo 3 out drive. You've got an automatic seat fire suppression system mounted here in the back of your engine hatch. You've got dual batteries mounted under here and a battery switch just forward of that. 65 gallon onboard fuel capacity. That's about a 15 gallon freshwater tank over there. And that will work both your bow and stern washdown pumps. And then you've got a little built in sink here. And you've got a third faucet in your head compartment. So you wash your hands after you do your business down there. Bimini top overhead. Got it folded back now. And all right, I think we're ready to step on outside the boat. I'll do another walk around the exterior, try to show you a little bit closer look at the dock rash. Okay, here's your trim tabs. I call it dock rash because it's, they're basically rash or scars or scratches that you get pulling up to docks. Um, the Below the water line, this right here is your water line. Uh, below the water line, I have not noticed any scratches on this one. It's all above the water line. Stuff you're going to get when you pull into a dock. And then we've got a few little scars up here near the bow. Again, the trailer's not included with this one. Contact us through our website uh, for pricing on a new trailer or to have it transported to you. Now we do have a little bit of uh, uh, what you might call spider cracks. That's like from some impact damage. And it looks like another good little ding right in there. Visit the website www.yournewboat.com. You'll find the current asking price of that one there, or of this one there. We don't mention those in the video tours because those will often change throughout a listing. Uh, once you make it to the yournewboat.com website, click the Find Your New Boat button and just scroll down until you find this one. They're all listed in order of price, so just scroll down until you see the 2004 Sea Ray 240 Sun Deck. You'll also find it on the Runabout page and the Norris Lake page. Contact us with any questions through there. You can reach us by phone, by email, or by text. If you call us and you get our voicemail, please do leave a detailed message because we're often in areas without cell phone reception where I happen to be right now. And I will not know you called if you don't leave a detailed message. Thank you again for joining us. This will wrap things up for the 2004 Sea Ray 240 Sun Deck for sale here on Norris Lake.